Hey everyone, okay, so vaccine passports. Uh, don't wanna get into the debate. What I did find challenging was now that I've got it, took the screenshot, I had a hard time figuring out how I could quickly pull it up and show it to somebody if I needed to show it. Um, so I came up with a workaround using the Apple Shortcuts app and Canva, created a video, and um, I hope it helps. Hey everyone, a quick video on how you can make accessing your vaccination passport screenshot a lot more streamlined and avoid having to dig through photo albums or galleries. So if you look at the bottom left of my taskbar, you'll notice a green, a teal green icon with a pill, and that is actually the shortcut to my remotely hosted vaccination screenshot. Now, this screenshot has been edited by myself. Obviously, I've blocked out my name and I've blocked out my true QR code, but I've also added some design elements to make it look like a longer card. So this tutorial assumes that you've already accessed your medical website, you've taken a screenshot of your verified vaccination card, and you've saved that to a folder on your mobile device. Once you've done that, you're ready to actually turn this into the remote link that I've just shown you. So of course I like my things to look a little nicer. So I've taken some steps in an app called Canva to make my screenshot look a little more like a full screen experience. Canva is a free app and can be downloaded in the App Store and it allows you to create any number of designs for marketing, presentations, but I'm going to simply use this to make my small vaccination card look a little more mobile friendly. So I'm going to use the Instagram story option and I'm going to select a blank template. In looking at the bottom of the Canva toolbar, you'll see a number of options. I'm going to scroll over to the upload section and navigate my way to the screenshot that I've saved on my phone. Once it's been added to Canva, you simply select it and place it on your canvas. So as you can see, my screenshot is smaller than the canvas. I'm going to expand my screenshot so it fills the space and I'm going to add color blocks on top and the bottom. I find myself the square shape and place it on the bottom of my card. Now Canva picks up the colors in your photo. So that's why the color green matches. I'm gonna add a second square and place it on the top. And because Canva does again recognize the colors in your photo, I can go to the color setting when I'm finished moving it around. And I do that by clicking on the color option on the bottom toolbar, scrolling down to the photo color section and picking the blue. And now I've got my full size card, top and bottom. This is a completely optional step, but now I can save this image to my phone and use it in a different way if I like. Or I can keep my design in Canva and use Canva as the remote location where I will be linking my shortcut to. So I'm going to use the share link functionality. I'm going to go to share a link to edit and change the edit to view so that somebody who views the link can simply view it. And I'm going to click the copy link, which copies that link to my clipboard. Now that my work in Canva is complete, and I'm actually using Canva as the host location for that image, and I've copied the link to that image, I can now leverage a solution called Shortcuts. You can download Shortcuts for free from the Apple App Store. And once that's done, we're ready to actually create the icon that I've created on my lower taskbar. I'm gonna remove that icon right now and walk you through how we actually get it to that lower taskbar to begin with. If you don't have enough room on your taskbar, you can always group elements to create more space. Now we can click on Shortcuts. Within the Shortcuts tab, you'll see my existing Vax card, but we're gonna create a new one by clicking the plus icon and creating a new shortcut with a new action. So the actions range from app functions, but we're gonna use the web functionality we're going to scroll down to the Safari section because Shortcuts does leverage Safari versus Chrome. And I'm going to use the Show Web Page option. This is where we'll paste the URL from Canva or from wherever you've hosted your image. Remember, you can use any link that you like. You don't need to use Canva. You can upload it to your own server. But you enter your link, you give your new shortcut a name. I'm calling mine Backspass. You can also change and customize the icon color. And if you like, you can also change the small glyph icon. The last step is to assign that new shortcut to your home screen. 
So we click on the more options, we click add to home screen, and that will do as the name suggests, it will add that icon to your main iOS home screen. And so since I've created room on my taskbar, now I simply take my new VAC shortcut, I drag it onto the taskbar where it's available, full time, easily accessing my vaccination passport. Best of luck everybody, stay safe, enjoy your family.